One of the most important stakeholders of a business are the shareholders or the owners. So we've looked at what that is and we're looking at say in the internal environment here, it's a group that's very close to the business. Okay, they are the owners. So just to recap, um, we've done this in another topic, but just to summarize, the ownership of a business is broken up into parts and each of these, each of these parts are called shares. So the person who, or group who owns the shares is called a shareholder. So if I took a sole trader, it has one block, one share, and it is owned by one person. So that's 100% shareholding. With a partnership, remember a partnership, you probably think in your head, there's two people, 50-50. That's not what a partnership is in business. It can be, but it can be up to 20 people, and it doesn't have to be equal. So we can see three people own the shares here. So there were three shareholders. They're not equal shares, but that's okay. And with a company, it's broken into many parts. So particularly if it's a public company on the stock exchange, it can have billions of shares, and each block is owned by a different group or individual. So that's what shareholders are. What do they want? We've looked at this in a different video and chapter in an earlier chapter, and we said, look, shareholders basically want two things: dividends. That what is that? That is for the business to make a profit, and they get to share in that profit, and your share of the profits is called a dividend. You're going to see that word a lot in business: dividends. This, dividends that. It's always a topic that's in the media, um, whether someone did or didn't get a dividend, or was it more or less than before. That's what it means. It's the owner's share of the profits. But the other thing people want, particularly if it's on the, a, a company that's on the stock exchange, they want what's called a capital gain. What is that? That is when the value of the business rises, so the shares can be sold for more money than they were purchased for. So why don't we summarize that and say that's the two things that shareholders want. Okay, they might want other things too. But let's look at the dividends. Owners in a business receive a dividend based on their percentage ownership. So let's say the net profit of the business is 100,000. In this company, there's 100 shares. Okay, and each share is owned by different people. This person owns four, this person owns seven, this person's only got two, etc. So it's a hundred thousand dollar profit. So when you think about it, one K that just means one thousand. Each of these blocks is entitled to a thousand dollars of profit. So if we could summarize that, this person owns four shares, so they're going to get four thousand dollars of that profit. This person owns eight shares, so they're going to get 8,000. This person owns 12, they'll get 12,000, etc. So that's how dividend work, dividends work. Capital gains work a bit differently. So you might go on the stock exchange and say, buy four shares in a business for $8 each. What you would like is for the value of these four shares to go up to, say, $11. And you have made what is called a capital gain. Or you could just say a profit, I guess, but we'll use the word capital gain because again, that's a topic in the, in the media that you might hear. And you've made $3 profit on each of your shares. Um, so why don't we summarize what shareholders want? This is a topic about stakeholders. Stakeholders have a direct or vested interest in the business. What do shareholders or owners want? Well, let's just say it's this. For the business to make profits, to receive dividends, so their share of the profits, for the share price to increase, particularly for companies on the stock exchange, but basically to make a capital gain. And you could argue businesses also, uh, sorry, shareholders also want for the business to, to behave ethically and socially responsibly. Not every shareholder, but a lot of them. So this topic's twofold. It's about what are their direct or vested interests, but what are some CSR issues with shareholders? Well, I guess the shareholders have an issue that they, they want to make profits and get their dividends from business activities that are ethical and socially responsible. They also want the business to avoid scandals and controversies that are bad for the image of the business and reduce its share price. Just being unethical is bad business. It makes the share price go down. And I guess overall you could say they want to balance the responsibility of the business to maximize returns to shareholders against the need to do the right thing by others in the community and society. 